Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can actually send email from your local host from XAMPP software using Gmail or Yahoo Mail, etc. So first let's create our document or PHP file. I will name it as mail.php and here we need to actually run the Apache. You can actually find the latest version of XAMPP and download it because I was actually trying to send email from my previous uh, version. I was using a very old version but I was getting so much error but when I actually downloaded the latest version then I was not getting any kind of error. So you need to and uh, I'm actually recommending you to actually use the uh, for, uh, latest version of the XAMPP. And now here inside the PHP code, we are going to write uh, the information for uh, running the mail function or for sending the mail. For this, we need to actually create four different variables. One is to whom you want to send the email and then the subject of your email and then the message that you want to actually send and then from whom or from which uh, email ID you want to send it. And then we are going to create an if else condition for checking if the mail has been sent then we are going to write mail has been sent successfully or like simply mail email sent and if it does not actually uh, send it successfully then we are going to send uh, a message like not sent and after this here we are going to create that uh, function to actually send the mail simply write mail and then press tab here you can see three options but we will use four different options for this uh, four different parameter for this function so here we need to actually give double quotation so you can actually write the email name directly too but we are going to use the variable name here because we don't want to actually send email to only one person we can actually send to any of them so we are going to use these variables instead of writing them directly inside a double quotation mark and here our variable name is msg and the last one will be from so dollar from is the variable and now we are going to give the values here so to here i'm going to actually use my own gmail id and from also i'm going to use this same one i have also tested uh, with the different form both works the same here inside this from variable we need to write like this first from then colon then a space and then you need to give your email id from where you want to send the mail and inside the dollar two variable that will be the email address of that person which where you want to send your email i'm just testing this with my own uh, email so that i can check it if it has actually uh, received the email or not and here we are going to write the subject as test and the message will be hello this is the first testing okay hello first test i'm going to check this and now let's save this page we are done with our php code now all you need to do is configure our xamp and so that we can actually use it to send mail so let's go to the folder where i have actually um, installed the XAMPP so I have installed it in uh, a folder but you can actually install it in your C drive too you need to go to that folder and then find the XAMPP folder and inside the XAMPP here you can see the PHP folder I'm inside that PHP folder and now let's find the file php.ini if you go to this P section then you can find it easily php.ini file and let's open this with our sublime text software or you can use it your your notepad or notepad plus plus you just need to modify it now press ctrl plus f for finding something here we are going to find mail function so you can see this mail function here and now we need to actually change this to option smtp and smtp port so this will be actually smtp server name and the port name so here you can actually search this uh, if you are confused you can search this inside google by writing smtp server name okay we are going to search for smtp server for gmail there you go 
you can see this one clearly here smtp.gmail.com we need to actually write it and for yahoo you need to actually search again and you will see that smtp.mail.yahoo.com this is the um, smtp server name and here also you can see the port name sorry port number so first let me just paste it here smtp.gmail.com as i'm going to send the mail from gmail and then after this here the port number you can actually add any of them 465 or 587 and if you actually get any kind of error you can actually change this one too sometimes this actually solve the error so i'm going to use 465 or you can actually use 587 too i was getting error with 587 so later i have changed it to 465 now we need to actually um, remove this semicolon before this send mail and this send mail path so send mail from this will be actually your email email id from where you want to send your mail uh, to your user or the students so here i'm going to give my email id again okay so this is done and here the send mail path you can see that mine is already written but yours can be actually not uh, written inside this so you need to actually write it like this and here i have actually installed my xamp software inside the if and then cell software folder that is why i'm actually seeing this kind of path but you need to actually write exactly the same path where your sendmail.exe file exists then you can actually save this we are done with this page then we can go to xamp again and here is the send mail folder and inside this this is our send mail dot ini file we are going to open this again let me open it in sublime text and here inside this send mail you can see on the line 6 send mail function is actually um, on the top so here again we need to change this smtp server name from the one that we have actually modified in the last page php.ini so here we are going to paste it and the port has to be same inside this php.ini page so 587 and then here we need to remove this semicolon this two sorry not this one this one so error.log file equal error.log and uh, debug.log file equal debug.log we need to actually uh, remove the semicolon before them and here we need to actually add the uh, name username and password of our gmail and uh, the password because we need to actually send the email from here so we need to give them access so that they can actually use that gmail so here i'm going to give my gmail account again and i need to write my password i'm just i'm not showing this here okay and remove this semicolon too don't forget this semicolon actually make the line a comment so that will not actually operate properly so after this you can actually come back from that page after saving that so now i'm actually inside my gmail account and you will see that there is actually no new email but after sending this you will see there will be a new image so let me just run our page okay but before that i need to actually uh, stop and restart the apache because we have actually modified our xamp software so we need to actually restart it to for uh, actually adapting to the new changes so close your xamp once and then start again and connect to the internet now we are going to run this mail.php file so let me just run it from localhost there you go email sent we have got this message and now you can see that notification has changed from one to two so that means there is one mail here you can see i have sent the email from my own email account from this and uh, to this that is why i'm actually getting this uh, as me and here you can see this uh, hello first test so let me test again with second test writing here and then save this one then we are going to run this page again let's refresh this one okay and now if we actually uh, refresh this gmail too you will see that there is another one hello second test 
so that's how you can actually send your email properly so next we will apply this inside our library management system website to actually send email notification before the before two days of return date and if you actually get some error or a mail that blocks your uh, mail from less secure account you need to actually go to your google account and then go to manage your google account then go to security and here you can see you need to turn this on if you actually uh, get an email that google is blocking your email from a less secure secure app so then you can actually turn this on but i was getting actually lots of error when i was using the older version of xamp but after installing the newer one i did not get any kind of error